Hi, we are on the class 2 for the course and I am going to talk about fixed income for MATLAB. Now this is a class taken on 26th uh, April 6 pm IST. Hi, I am Shivgan and we are going to look at uh, what features are there for fixed income uh, into the MATLAB tool and uh, we'll look at how to do all our calculation in the fixed income using MATLAB. So if we look at the overall structure, we have the uh, fixed income part in MATLAB divided into two broad categories. The first category which is seen on the southwest of your screen is uh, the generic FIN toolbox category and it has got a list of commands which I will go through. Then we have a dedicated toolbox uh, for fixed income part and that dedicated toolbox has got four parts, the MBS, the dead instruments. Uh, the derivatives and the interest rate and slowly we'll look at uh, all four of them now the MATLAB help is quite comprehensive and I will use the examples given in MATLAB help but the thing that is interesting here is that you need to understand the overall framework of MATLAB you need to understand the basic framework of functions, structures, construct constructors, array handling, graphs and plot the reason why I am talking this is because when you just jump into those help files of the fixed income you will see many uh, obstruse commands which uh, you might uh, feel trouble in understanding with. Most of them are with array indexing, uh, the fourth point on the screen and uh, the functions which is the first point on the screen. So most of the time these functions and array indexing might be given in some way playing around with matrices which you will not understand. So what you have to be cautious about when you are running the same program in uh, or the same code in your MATLAB screen. So you have to be careful about the spaces. MATLAB is sensitive to spaces. Don't use extra spaces when they are not required. It, it, it would bounce back. The next part is bracket. Most of the times when you, uh, when you copy these programs into the MATLAB and the syntax has changed. So there are like different type of brackets. Just be careful you use the right bracket. Now when you copy this uh, from the help file into the MATLAB, the bracket uh, format might get distorted. The other format that might get distorted is apostrophe and inverted commas. And, and you just pasted a program from the help file or from an internet into the MATLAB framework and, and you will see that it's not running. The main reason for that is the apostrophe format which is given in, in, in terms like prime or uh, some other format that, that MATLAB does not recognize. Then we have the third uh, three dots. Uh, this is the same as uh, underscore in VBA. This is the same as saying MATLAB that I'll write the other part of the command in the next line. Otherwise, if you press and enter, uh, your command would be taken in. So if you use these three dots, you can continue with the command and write uh, uninterruptedly in the MATLAB. So when you have these things in mind, you'll be able to better understand the framework, the structure and you will be able to use the help file in a more efficient way. Now the content of the fixed income toolbox in MATLAB has four parts. The first is mortgage backed securities. The second is debt instruments. It is mostly about treasury bills. It's about uh, calculating yield of a treasury curve. It's about uh, uh, the yield of a corporate bond, uh, the duration, the convexity. Then the third part is derivatives. The fourth part is uh, interest rate pricing. Uh, one thing that uh, I would like to mention before moving ahead is that uh, whenever you use these help files or whenever you see a code that you want to use back you will see dates and date uh, is a tricky thing here because uh, the date is converted into a number. Now different programs use these dates as uh, uh, different numbers so uh, I guess Excel used like 1900 or 1960 as the starting date so uh, a numeric number 2 in uh, Excel might say uh, 2nd Jan 1960. So all these date format are given in different ways and when you move towards uh, a low level programming from VBA or Excel into the Excel into the sorry the MATLAB R in the SAS framework then you will see that uh, these uh, dates should be carefully taken care of. To check the format of the date I have included this link uh, in this PowerPoint that I might have already given you. So moving to the 
first part here which uh, is uh, pricing the fixed income security this is beside the fixed income toolbox there are many commands that are given to you and most of those commands are the basic commands that are used in uh, yield and duration so that that is something independent so this slide slide 7 is uh, regarding the list of formulas or the right hand side 